I looked for the, the principles of influence. And what I found surprised me in that there were only six, six universal principles that every successful influence profession employed. One was reciprocity. People want to say yes to those who have given to them first. There was a recent study that showed when customers came into a candy store, if they were given a gift of chocolate at the beginning, they were 42% more likely to buy in that store mm. because they felt obligated to give back to someone who had given to them. Good. Another is uh, liking. We prefer to say yes to those we know and like, but how does someone uh, achieve liking? One thing that we learned negotiators can do is to find a commonality, something that's similar with their negotiation opponent. Bring that to the surface and they get a better deal. They get more grace in the negotiation because they're liked more as a consequence. Uh, a third is authority. Of course, we prefer to say yes to those individuals who can give us evidence that they are competent, they have credentials, they have experience uh, in, in a particular arena. Um, and another is uh, social proof, uh -huh. the idea that if a lot of our peers are doing something, it's probably a good choice for us. So if we get information that this is the fastest growing or the largest selling, the fifth uh, principle is scarcity. We want those things that are scarce, rare, dwindling in availability, uh, not uh, easily uh, accessible. One study showed that in a supermarket, if the supermarket put underneath a, a brand only X uh, items per customer, they doubled purchasing. Scarcity. Scarcity. And then, and then finally, it's commitment and consistency. We want to be consistent with what we have already said or done publicly. So uh, if we can ask people to take a small step in our direction, they'll be more likely to stay consistent with that because they've already made a commitment toward our product, our service, our idea.